From the moment I first set eyes on it, the rediscovery of this drawing felt like a homecoming. This fateful feeling about Levens' Trump is most clearly illustrated in two distinct and unforgettable moments. The first, the early revelation of the watermark in the course of the restoration that precisely dated the drawing to within 15 years of the date it bears. The second, the exact match of the drawing to the print when one was overlaid on the other. Confirming with exactitude their direct and necessary relationship, this precise calibrated correspondence is as close to a eureka moment as one can hope for in the field of connoisseurship. The drawing fits the print like a glove. The same fool's cap watermarks found in some of Rembrandt van Rijn's best prints of the period emerged in the paper like a fingerprint left for us to find after some 360 years. Levens and Rembrandt once shared a studio, and it is hardly surprising, therefore, that they also shared a source of paper. What is strange, however, is how precise the time signature on our drawing is. 15 years earlier, and this type of fool's cap watermark doesn't yet exist. Conversely, five years later, a revolution in papermaking was taking place, led by the use of wind-powered mills in Holland, changing forever the consistency of paper. Here, therefore, captured in the very substrate paper of our Trump, is evidence of the small window in time when the Admiral stood at the precipice of death and Holland at the edge of modern nationhood. The overlaying of the print and drawing is an occasion that is quite literally unrepeatable. This moment in time has not been experienced by anyone since the printmaker himself and will not be experienced by anyone in the same way ever again. That everything fits together on the light table like a key in its lock is not only a singular confirmation of the authenticity of the drawing, but also a direct understanding of the function and reason for the existence of the drawing. The drawing was made for the print. This drawing had to exist. The presence of the print demands it. Like twins separated at birth, they complete each other, originally of the same dimensions and even in the same direction. These two experiences are of the kind that art dealers are rarely privileged enough to experience. The puzzle piece that went missing over a hundred years ago is found again and fits easily into its open place on the table. It is hard to escape here the language of magic or even of the sacred.